ladies and gentlemen, today, this afternoon, rather, sees us flying into cold, cold, uh, I forget the name of the place. Let's just look this up for a second. We're flying in over here to Cold Bay in Alaska. Okay, so we're down to ten, descending down to 10,000 feet here. Road for Cold Bay, Alaska. at 67 miles out of Cold Bay. A bit of water below us and we had mountains on the other side here. So there you can see them a bit from the top here. If we do an outside look, it might be a little noisy for a second. Let's have a look for you. There's the mountains. Here's the airplane that we're flying in. Back in here, it's a little bit more quieter. You want to start reducing our speed a little bit here. 64 miles out, we're at a present altitude of 19,800 feet and descending at 18,000 feet per minute. We have a little bit of rime ice on our wings today. It might clear up as we get lower down, but I'm not sure. It is probably pretty cool out in, the, in Cold Bay. You can see our uh, icer boots inflating. I'm sure that it's breaking the ice off the leading edge, which is very critical to sustaining flight. Sixty miles out now and 18,000 feet. I'm going to reduce my airspeed down a little bit and we'll slow the aircraft down. Flying at a ground speed right now of 248 knots. Indicated of 203. stop before we uh, depart Alaska and head into Russia. We'll work our way through the northern, I, th I believe the northern parts of uh, Europe this time around. When we took off we had all overcast skies all the way up to 23,000 feet. It was pretty gloomy. Glad to see a little bit of sunshine and open skies. It gives us a chance to have a look at the, the actual terrain around here. It's going to be pretty breathtaking at times. The simulator puts out fantastic graphics. Lifelike graphics of the area. Thousand feet with 53 miles to go. Right now we have our uh, throttle reduced right back, and we're basically Awaiting gliding down. Five 
setting yet, we're waiting for an altimeter setting, which hasn't come through yet. As we get closer, we'll listen for that uh, altimeter setting there. That would be crucial for the actual altitude above ground level. Once you reach 18,000 feet, you set the barometric pressure to 2,992, which is standard for flight above as you come down, you'll get the the appropriate barometric pressure of the zone, the area that you're in, and you have to set your, your barometric pressure to read that of the area that you're flying in. So everybody is flying at the same altitude, and when you come down to touch down on the runway, especially in adverse weather, you'll be uh, at the right altitude instead of diving at the ground and finding out that the ground was actually 100 feet above you. It's like uh, dropping off the top of a 10-story building then, so it's very critical that you get the right uh, altimeter setting on landing. So we'll listen for that as we get closer. We're coming down to 10,000, which means we will now pursue to uh, turn on our, our lights here landing lights. So I get this set up here. I'm going to put on our landing lights at this point here and we're going to continue to monitor our route into the airport. Snow and ice, rime ice is sticking to our aircraft at this time, so we'll probably bring this right down to the airport with us, and maybe we'll give her a wash once we get in. The icer boots are working fantastic. So we have a little bit of distance yet. We're 8,600 descending down to 5,600 feet, where we will level off. That water would be freezing cold. It's not a part of the ocean I'd prefer to swim in at this time of the year, especially. Not sure how warm it gets during the summertime either. You're quite a ways up north.
time we're just coming to 5,600 now where we will level off and I will have to probably add a little bit of power to uh, keep us going forward instead of downwards. I'm going to add a little bit of power now. Await you, I do hotel one, you are 500 feet below your assigned altitude. Climb and maintain 5,600 feet altimeter to 9 or decimal. There we go, we got our barometric pressure, 2 9 or 3 6. Climb and maintain 5,600 so, feet, UPWA Y2H2. 2 9, two nine or 3 one. 6 is where we want to be. I want to go over to my barometric pressure, 2 9 or 3 6. And it'll climb to maintain the proper altimeter setting. Set this other altimeter too. Went the wrong way on it. Here we go, two nine or three six. Again, in this case, if you're too low, the mountain could be in the way and you'd strike the mountain, so you want to make sure that you are flying at the proper barometric pressure. So you can hear how low I was. Or we were in that case. Thirty-two miles out. Have our in our on our screens here you can see our actual route into the airport and I am going to try and adjust that a little bit. Sit a little closer on it. <coughs> Maintaining 220 knots at an altitude of 5,600 feet now. Beautiful scenery, the mountains, the ocean, off the left wing tip. Beautiful snow-capped mountains in front of us. And on again, onto the right-hand side of the aircraft, you see the lovely snow-capped mountains and some clouds. should have our dice on, our prop dice on. Our inert separator on, which we do. Make sure our landing lights are on, which we have them on. I can turn off our dome lights when we took off earlier today in the clouds. I actually needed those. It was so dark taking off into the clouds and the rain actually was raining up there. Wild. We took off out of uh, Kodiak, Alaska. It was pretty close, pretty uh, mild temperature. That's where we formed the uh, icing on the wings shortly after takeoff. Bouncing around a little bit here, a little bit of stability from the uh, unstable winds from the mountains. That's thing to happen. <laughs> Pretty soon we'll be starting our turn into final. Airport is 25.1 nautical miles out right now. Still maintaining an altitude of 5,600 feet. And our last chance is to enjoy the uh, scenery around us. for 
we're landing. We have lots of fuel, so we, that won't be a problem here. Our separation is on. for a few seconds till we're ready to start in on our operation for our landing. I have a few fans now that love to watch my flights. They sit back and uh, kill a little bit of time with me as I videos I sure would like to thank them. Okay, we got a descent down to 3,800 feet. Descent and maintain 3,800 feet. UPWA Y2HI2 Hotel 1. It gets hard to do a little bit once it gets bumpy. down a little bit. More than 800 feet per minute would be good actually. Bay, I guess that we are heading into. We're landing. I'm gonna reduce my airspeed down a little bit. Nineteen miles from the airport. Nineteen and a half to be exact. get away from the mountains, the air becomes a little bit more stable and we're not bounced around as much. Okay, we're going to start turning towards final right away. And we'll track our way into our approach. miles out now. Coming up to our uh, altitude of 3,800 feet. As we oh, wait, you know, you know, okay, we're ordered down to 2,300 feet. Descend and maintain 2,300 feet. UPWA Y2HI2 Hotel 1. Descending down to 2,300 feet. We're starting into our final approach. Can't wait to get a VR headset. This way it won't be jolting from left to right. I'll be able to look around. You'll get the view as if I was looking. They can see the runway in front of us right now. As we're coming out of 2,800 feet for 2,300. Wanted to monitor our airspeed here. We're at 167. It's looking pretty good here. Looks like pretty desolate areas. I'd hate to be dropped off anywhere in some of these areas and have to walk to 
find civilization. It's pretty remote. Okay, we're waiting for Tower to clear us for the runway. We're just above the speed for dropping our flaps. Pretty soon we will drop our flaps so we give us a better visibility at the airport. And we are going to do so now. We're bringing our flaps down. Will pitch down, our airspeed will start to descend. I'll have to add a little bit of power to uh, maintain our airspeed here. I'm trying to keep it in the red area, uh, red, sorry, I'm color blind, in the white area margin on the airspeed indicator, which is located right here by my pointer. I'll try and stay within that range. That way I'm not stressing the aircraft too much. Airspace, so I'm going to set the approach right now. We're going to descend on in. They've given us the clearance. We're going to send down, descend down to 1,600 feet. Let's see if we can lock onto the uh, approach. my airspeed. Have a little last little look there. There's the mountains to the left of us, the ocean to the right. And if I have to add power, I'll probably want to go around maybe to the right. So keep that in mind. onto the uh, approach here. And if it doesn't, I will take off the autopilot and we will fly it in manually. So my airspeed, okay, and she is starting to slow down a little bit here, so hopefully we're going to lock on. Papa Alpha Charlie Delta Traffic UPWAY2HI2 Hotel, 15 miles. South inbound Arnav Runway Tree Tree. For some reason it didn't lock on, so I am going to hold her at 800 here. She's just locking in now, so we'll just fly it along here and. Ready to bring her home here. I will drop the, the gear right away. Okay, we're going to drop the gear at this point here. Gear coming down. Final flaps coming down. Flying it in manually now. We're going to take off the autopilots off, yaw dampers off. We'll take off the flight director as well. Maintain the airspeed and bring her on in. Setting up 
trim for landing. Reduce our airspeed down to below 90 knots here. Right on glide slope. 5.8 miles out. Seems a lot less than that. A little low here. Adding a little bit of airspeed. Bringing the nose up. Definitely less than 5.4 things have gone funny on the... Charlie Delta traffic to PWA 2HI2 Hotel, 1-2 miles south inbound on that runway tree tree. Alright, we are inbound, ready for landing. Bringing her down, I don't know. Stuck the landing pretty good there. Bring our flaps up. Trying to find our taxiway into the airport. There's our turn off here, I do believe. Clear the active runway. Okay, and we'll take off all our de icing. down here and we will call it a day for this flight. Thanks once again for joining us on this uh, flight which is one half hour long. Have a great day and hope to get another video to you guys soon. Here and we will close her off.